guys, Kyle Morris here coming from the Golf Room in Dublin, Ohio. And what I want to do today is talk to you guys about contact and putting. Now this lesson kind of piggybacks on another um, video that I had done in regards to the rhythm of the putter, which I would suggest you guys go check out. But what I see with putters, with am amateurs when they putt and they come in to get putting lessons, is we will see a putting stroke that goes somewhat like this. It goes short back, long through, and the blade goes very high. And when we look at the ball contact of the blade, the ball will hit the putter on the bottom of the blade, making the ball bounce into the ground and making a very inconsistent roll predominantly, especially with speed. It makes their speed control really difficult. So if you look at some of the best putters in the game, and even if you look at some of the best instructors of our time right now in regards to short game, like Dave Stockton and Stan Utley and these guys that are really kind of the putting gurus, you can see that they that we're trying to cre create players to hit putting hit their putter and have their finish be very, very low to the ground. We don't want our finish to be very high. And what that allows us to do is to strike the putt in the middle of the face. So how could we actually practice that? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take a ball and we're going to first just take a nickel on the ground and we're going to make some putts and we're going to just try to take our setup and we're going to move the nickel. Okay. And what this is really going to work on is essentially kind of like what Trackman would, would say. It, it, it's kind of like our angle of attack. Okay? Now, I, with that, in regards to that, I completely am 100% supportive of the fact of we need to actually kind of be hitting up on our putts. Right? We don't want to be hitting down on putts. We want to have a rise angle to our putter blade when we're going through. I'm not, I'm not saying that we shouldn't do that. But what I am saying is I've never seen a guy or a girl hit a putt with a negative attack angle on a putter. You know, I've never seen it, right? I've never seen a putter go like this, okay? More times than not, I see the, the, the guy or the girl hit putts like this, like I had said. So, with this nickel drill, it's kind of giving us the opposite feeling of what we normally do. So we're going to take our setup, set up to the nickel, and we're going to try to move the nickel. Then once we've kind of hammered that out and we've gotten good at that, we're going to put a ball on it, and we're going to set, up to the, set it up, and then we're going to try to hit a putt and move the nickel. And what you'll notice is every single time that I do this with my students, the first thing that happens is they hit it five feet by the hole, maybe even 10. And the reason is, is they're actually striking the ball in the middle of the face, where they're used to another analogy for be, like if you hit seven irons and all you ever did was thin seven irons, and let's say you carried it 130, you'd say, I, well, I hit my seven iron 130. And then if we got you to hit a shot and you hit it right in the, right in the center of the face and it flew 150, that would be kind of like the way the club was designed to swing with that amount of energy. So now what happens when they move the nickel, they hit the center of the ball, and then it allows them to actually, you know, create the right amount of energy to get that ball to the hole rather than they're usually thinning the ball. And the ball, when we put it on like our roll boards and everything, it rolls so much more clean. So this would be a great drill to kind of do that and kind of work on that. And if you're struggling with it, it might simply be the fact that your weight is not far enough forward because body track here measures our, our weight distribution. And more times than not, we have players with their weight on their back foot. And I say, I have the computer here and I say, okay, we want your weight to be kind of like 55% on your front foot. So when we do that and they can look and they can see it's at 55, every time they're like, oh my gosh, that feels like 80% which is great because without the use of body track, that would be a really, really hard thing to feel and really, really hard thing to trust. So try to feel like your weight's a little bit more forward and try to work on moving that nickel and you'll find that the contact off the, off the putter face when you're making those putts is really, really good and it feels really compressed. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at info at thegolfroom.com. Um, hopefully we see you here at the Golf Room in Dublin, Ohio and uh, check in next time. Thanks. This is a picture of me hitting putts on a Sam putt lap with a putting arc and Joey Sindelar clip. You'll notice that the strike point on the putter face is slightly above center, but that is simply a byproduct of me hitting balls off of a coin and moving the coin. If the coin was not on the ground, I'd be striking the ball in the center of the face. This is a picture of me again on Sam putt lab. I moved the coin on this putt and you'll see that my rise angle is 1.6 degrees, proving that even when you move the coin, you still are hitting up on the putt.